Hey, it's Buddy Lee. Welcome to my channel. So after my initial completing of Act 7.3, I got the Cosmic T5CC I needed to make my first purely prestige rank up that I've done since starting playing this game. Or at least that's what I thought when I first made the commitment to ranking up Silver Surfer, but I found after playing around with him that I actually kind of enjoy using him. Where I see myself actually using him is based upon his 100% resistance to Cold Snap, Incinerate, and Shock. This is better than immunity because he'll still receive the debuffs and he can heal from willpower. So the first example is here in Alliance Quest and this is Day 5 Map 7 on Path 1 in Section 2. These fights all have Freezer Burn so hitting the defender places Incinerates on me and hitting Block will place Cold Snap and Silver Surfer doesn't have to worry about either and will benefit with willpower healing. I like starting out with heavy, causing a miss and activating the increased power gain buff. Next I throw SP1 for the two fury buffs. I have both incinerates and cold snaps active and it quickly recovers the damage from recoil. I use heavy now to activate the armor up buff and you want to always activate a buff that you don't have active already since it refreshes all the other buffs. I don't think there's many champions that deal with both incinerate and cold snap and the fact that he does it with resistance instead of immunity is even better. Next I'm going to be taking on Labyrinth Old Man Logan, and this time I'll get into his full cycle. He doesn't do insane damage, however it is pretty decent, so even though I won't be taking Surfer on my team all the time, when I do use him for his damage over time resistances, it isn't at all painful. So I started with Heavy again to activate the increased power gain rate. Next is to throw the SP1 while we're on Fury for the two Fury buffs. Now I activate the armor buff with heavy, and you can pretty much make your own opening with the heavy phase as long as you have that power cosmic buff active. Then the setup is complete after waiting to activate one more armor buff and then throwing sp3. The sp3 will give an aptitude buff and then the goal is to maintain all these buffs for the rest of the fight. Now we're doing 10k mediums and 7k lights on crits when including the direct damage. An important note on how to keep all the buffs active is that the power gain one will fall off faster than the rest and by reactivating it with heavy you can refresh everything else and then you just repeat that. For the rest of the fight we'll be throwing sp2s and they'll be unblockable. That unblockable buff lasts for a little bit which makes it very easy to throw intercepts against the wall afterwards and if the defender decides to block you can still continue attacking. It's time now to reactivate the power gain buff which will also refresh all the other buffs. What I like about Silver Surfer's playstyle is that it allows for a fast pace and aggressive play. I can pretty much continue my attack constantly through the whole fight.
Old Man Logan tries to mess me up with an evade, but since the SP2 is unblockable, his plot is foiled. So it takes 258 hits to take down Old Man Logan, which isn't amazing, but it's respectable. And it's inflated a bit with the 6 hit combo and multi hit SP2. The speed of the takedown isn't bad either. So all in all, I made the rank for prestige, but I hadn't heard a ton about how he actually plays, and my expectations were exceeded by him. I will actually get some use from this rank up. Well that's it for this video, if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.